Hi, welcome to Vegan Cuisine with Madame Sophie. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode with Vegan Cuisine with Madame Sophie. Today I'm going to show you guys how I make my scrambled veg. This is a perfect way you could make an egg or feel like you're eating egg um, without tofu. I know quite a few of the recipes out there on how to make um, a vegan version of egg um, would require you to use tofu, but this recipe does not require any tofu so in my bowl i have a two-third cup of bisan or it's also called chickpea flour i'm adding in one tablespoon or three teaspoons of nutritional yeast and i am going to add a few dashes of black salt the reason i love using black salt for this recipe is black salt kind of gives you that egg like fresh like um flavor in your food when you use it so I'm just adding in a few dashes of that and in addition to that I am going to add in one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning um, I really love using this as well I realized that Cajun seasoning when I use that particular Cajun seasoning I also get an egg like or fresh flavor I am also going to add in two third cups of water I'm using drinking water and guys I did not drink from the bottle of water before I added the water to my bowl just FYI and I'm now going to whisk the mixture I'm going to whisk 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 all the way um, until I have a nice smooth liquid and <laughs> before I go on one of the more important ingredients I'm going to add in a half to a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder for that yellow color going to make sure that everything is mixed all the way through again try to avoid having any lumps in your mixture I really love using this recipe to make sandwiches if I would like to make a pancake kind of spread that is suitable for me um, I also love using this recipe as well one tablespoon of grape seed oil you could use any other oil of your choice i added in some chopped parsley if you would like your scrambled veg to be more on the vegetable side instead of using parsley you could replace it with vegetables such as carrots mushrooms tomatoes and so on as soon as the uh, oil is nice and hot I'm going to add in my liquid now I know I added in all my liquid all at once and that is pretty much because I s believe my pan was big enough to withstand that amount of liquid but again feel free to use a little at a time <laughs> if you would like to make a little more then you could pour less of that batter into your pan and that is really going to um, help as well in addition to that if you don't feel like making all of this um, scramble veg you could actually decrease this recipe um, it is basically pot water to pot chickpea flour so if you are using a quarter cup of chickpea flour then I would suggest a quarter cup of liquid as well and you just go on and adjust your um, seasonings to your liking to your liking you don't want to put the flame too high because you really want to give your batter your egg like batter um, a chance to cook so you want it to be between a medium to low heat not extremely low but more on the medium side so when you see it's kind of coming together like kind of forming looking like and like it's setting in the pan you want to start breaking that up and again if you would like to make an omelet using this recipe you would have to pour less butter in your pan so if you would like to make an omelet I would suggest using probably a quarter cup of butter and of course for this recipe whenever you're making this recipe I would highly suggest using a pan that is large enough do not use a small pan because it is going to get annoying <laughs> trust and believe it will be 
so as you guys could see I'm kind of breaking that up turning I'm flipping it on the other side This takes about 15 minutes to cook and also the amount of time it takes to cook is also dependent on um, the amount of batter you're using. Of course if you're using less batter, less time, more batter, more time. But this is how I basically go ahead and I do my scramble veg. You could use this for making, if you want to make a breakfast burrito a breakfast veg like burrito you could use this recipe for it I've done burritos using this recipe I've also done sandwiches using this recipe I've done on an omelet as well using this recipe as it's coming together um, and once I realized that everything is pretty much three-quarter done cooking I went on and I added an extra teaspoon of grapeseed oil to the pan and I'm just going to let the pieces get a little brown get it let give it a chance to get golden brown um, before turning off that heat There you have it. This is how I create my veg. Um, to the picture on the side, this is um, a sandwich I made using this veg, um, this veg scramble recipe. I really love using it. It is definitely something I use. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Vegan Cuisine with Madame Sophie. I will see you in the next video. Peace, love, and tasty vegan food. Bye.